No, 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 no. Uh, oh dear. I'm relearning Minecraft from scratch on 2B2T. Last episode, I got griefed, and then I built my first ever original house. My plan today was to detail it, but being a noob quickly caught up with me. We need grass. This is not grass. Oh no, what am I gonna be able to do? So sit back and relax, and get ready to watch me suffer. So here we are, home sweet home, and I haven't been here since the last episode. It is always nice when your base is still around on 2B2T. So I have made a really big decision. Before I do anything else, I want to bring an alt account out here. One of the main reasons is I need nether materials already and I forgot to get any when I originally came out here. Unlike a regular survival world, I can't just put a portal down here and go through to the nether, as I'm pretty sure everything on the other side is new chunks. And if I do load an area for the first time, base hunters can use their map mods to tell. Essentially, I'll be creating a bullseye to exactly where the base is. I could go to where I came through originally because that was on the border between some old and new chunks in the nether, so it's pretty well hidden. But that is thousands and thousands of blocks that way. It will take me so long to get all the way there, go through to the nether, do all the stuff I need to do, clean up and come all the way back. So I might as well use that time and bring another account out here and it can get all the things I need on the way out. Yes, it will take a little longer, but it's an investment into the future as having two accounts here means I can go off exploring and quickly pearl myself back. I'll have to do this at some point anyway if I want to go to the end because all the portals are under 25k from spawn and this base is out in the millions. So we won't be able to rely on beds, so pearling back will be essential. Right, time to log into the alt. Let's see how this goes. So we started back at spawn and went through to the nether. After some fun parkour, we nearly escaped before a player came from nowhere and killed us. Ah oh no, who was that? We finally got onto a highway and made it to the overworld, where we came across a cute little island base from 2021. I created some farms for food and got myself some iron and diamonds ready for the long journey ahead, with my first objective to get some blaze rods. Okay, so here we are in the nether in some really, really old chunks, and I found a fortress with a blaze spawner. And I already put a bunch of torches around, and now it is time for me to make my first ever blaze farm. Now this is only going to be single use, so it only needs to be really, really simple. I'm going to use this 12 year old video that you've probably all seen before just to honor this really old terrain that we're in. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so I've got it working. It doesn't look quite as good as the original video, but that's because so many blazes were spawning. Honestly, 2B spawn rates are crazy. So I'm going to stay here and grind for a while, get as many blaze rods as possible. Then I'm going to start the long journey out to the main base. Let's go. Okay, we are back on the main and look who decided to show up. Yes, I finally got him out here. It wasn't too difficult, although I did die once when I went AFK on the highway for like two seconds and a zombie came out of nowhere. Luckily, I'd only set my bed like 15 minutes ago, so I didn't lose too much progress and I was able to easily find my items back on the highway. So let's see what I was able to bring. Now, the first thing is I found a shulker box on the highway. Now, I know this isn't a legitimate way to get shulkers, and I promise I will go and do that in the end in the future, but this will come in super handy and it had some amazing stuff in it. So all the stuff on the top row is what was already in there. So there's some nether stuff here so we can grow some nether trees. There was a name tag so we can name the brown mushroom. There was a really nice map art which we'll be able to put in the house. 23 bone blocks, these will come in super useful. Some iron horse armor, but the main thing were the five gas tiers. I didn't want to try and kill any gas because they're a little bit tough when you're poor like we are right now. So this means we'll be able to create some crystals to go fight the dragon in the future. Then we've got everything that I grinded myself. So two stacks of blaze rods from the grinder, five stacks of nether quartz, possibly overkill, but it's pretty easy to get. Three stacks of soul sand, one stack of glowstone dust because that's a little harder to get, 19 magma creams because those guys are annoying to kill, and then 10 nether wart. I did find an unraided fortress. There were so many mobs, so I just grabbed a few. We can grow some more here. And then three stacks of pearls. Hopefully this is enough, but if not, we can probably go and find some more. Okay, time to build a pearl stasis chamber. I think for now, I'm going to build it at the base at two of these trees. I think that might look quite nice. So one there, one there, one there, and one there. Now, luckily, a stasis chamber is something that I've built before, so this shouldn't cause me any issues. You know, as I create this, I'm kind of just thinking back on all the bases that I've been part of without really knowing how to build and just kind of blagging my way through it. Pretty quickly after joining 2B, I actually joined one of the best building groups on the server and was part of quite a few of their bases. 
I built this massive pyramid just following a step-by-step -step guide from YouTube. It was made with all the different types of wood you could get at the time because I'd found this massive dupe stash with loads of building materials. It turned out okay, but it wasn't really super creative. I then built one of their bases called Vega, which was this crazy ice spikes biome base. I built a pretty cute house, but again, it was just a block by block copy from something I found on YouTube. And then when you fly around the base, you will see that I was massively outskilled. The guys there were amazing. I then built quite a few of the Greybeard Geezer's bases. Yeah, I built some nice things, but most of them again were just copies of things I found from YouTube. So it's going to be so nice to actually build some original stuff for once. So time to bring the alt here to put his pearl down. By the way, this does mean I've got two accounts I've got to pay Pryo for now. So if you want to help the channel out, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. He can go off now. He's just here for whenever we need him. Okay, the final touches to stop any of these mushrooms triggering them. I don't know if that's possible, but just to make sure, put some signs up so we know which one is which. And that is it. We have got pearls and we've got two accounts here. I now feel so much more comfortable. Right, let's get back to work. Very first thing is I want to put this guy into a boat before we can rename him just so he doesn't despawn. Before we start the detailing, I want to create a couple of simple farms so they can be doing their thing while we're doing our work. Firstly, I'm going to try creating a simple automatic wool farm, but I need some iron and redstone to do that. So it's time to dig a mine. Oh, copper. Thank you to Goza who commented saying that we should use a copper rod to stop lightning and stop our house from burning down. That was a really useful suggestion and it will just stop me having to spend ages building a glass roof up there. Worst mine ever so far. Apart from the copper at the start, I have found absolutely nothing digging down here. Let's hope that changes. Oh, we have found something. Ah, we, there's some iron here. Okay. There's just so much granite around. Is this something to do with mushroom islands? Come on, I need some resources. Ah, redstone. Got some more iron. 12. I need like 55, so we've got a lot more to find. Oh, diamonds. That is going to help for sure. Oh, we've got a cave. I see diamonds. I see gold, I think. But there are a lot of mobs. So I think we need to try and light this whole area up. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Back, 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 back. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, dear. Whoops. We've got a few diamonds. We can make a diamond sword. Wow, this is when you're just not used to being able to die. Let's see if we can get our items. Okay, here's all my stuff and my life force. can quickly grab everything. Quick, quick, quick. No. Oh. oh, that creeper saved me. And it showed me more diamonds as well. Okay, quick. Oh, there's some iron there as well. Okay. Oh, God. When you're used to hacking and being invincible. 17 iron. We need 55. This is going to be hard. Uh, okay. We've got the shield. There. I am a real Minecrafter. There's more diamonds here as well. I'm going to leave the diamonds until we've got fortune. 32. We're getting there. Oh, there's gold down here. This is an amazing cave. More diamonds. More diamonds. This cave is stacked. Well, even more diamonds. This is going to be great. 44. Uh, 55 exactly. That will do for now. There's so many diamonds down here. But for now, I'm going to block it up. And we can actually go back to base. Oh, it's good to be home and have all of our stuff. Right, so let's do the copper first. So I'm going to make four rods to go above and then do the iron. So while all that is smelting, we need to go and bring some sheep over here because I want white wool, black wool and red wool. There is another shipwreck. Paper, some more moss. Quick, quick, quick. Rickson, remember, you have no enchantments. You will die very easily. Ooh, emeralds. Oh, bunch of iron. Not a bad little haul. Where are the sheep? Okay, here's the cows. Oh, baby zombie. No. Oh, is it just me? Or in Minecraft, whenever you want to find a specific animal, you can never find one. Oh, the sun's going down. Ah, oh, come here. Where's my boat? Where's my boat? Where's the baby zombie? I've got no boat. Oh, I left it. The sun's going down. We've got a bail. Rickson, you're a noob. Oh, we've got to leave. Way too many mobs will come out at night. What a fail. Right, let's do the lightning rods now. We can go back and get the sheep in a bit. 
Okay, so according to the wiki, as long as this is the highest block, it should grab all the lightning. So if I put two up here, okay, hopefully that works. Please let me know if I've made a mistake. So before I get the sheep, I am just getting all the materials I need for the wool farm. So those are the observers. I've got nearly everything I need. Okay, I have just realized something. We need grass. This is not grass. Oh no, what am I gonna be able to do? I'm wondering, can those moss blocks create grass? Let's try. Okay, now if I put one moss here, let's try this. No, it's moss blocks. Oh man, how am I gonna get grass here? Okay, that is a huge oversight of the Mushroom Island. So I think my two options are either I try and get Silk Touch or I see if I've got enough dirt that I can pillar all the way from the closest island. But I think it's too far. Okay, I'm going to try bridging over there. I do have a lot of dirt. This will probably take longer than getting a Silk Touch pickaxe or a shovel or whatever. But at least I'm guaranteed that this will work. Oh man, what's my life become? I see land. We're nearly there. Okay, we've made it. But we have got a welcoming party. Yeah, maybe we will come back here when it's daytime. The sun is coming up perfectly on our grass path. That's got to be good luck. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay, let's let these guys burn for a little bit. Then we can staircase up from there to here. And that should bring the grass to the island. I'm just going to go for it. Okay, so we are all connected. Can grass go upstairs? I hope it can. I just want to see it spread once. Just once, and then I know that it's working. Maybe adding more dirt will help. Please spread. Please. Ah, it did it. I'm hoping that means that I can just leave it now and that it will spread all the way to the island. But do I need to be in the chunk for this to work? This is, this is tough. I knew that there were limitations to a mushroom island, but this is really difficult. Okay, it's continuing to spread. So let's let's hang out at the island because the sheep are over there somewhere. Let's go get the sheep. Let's take them back to the island and hopefully it would have spread a bit more. I found the sheep. Come with me. Okay, we've got a black sheep. That's great. Let's see how the grass is doing. It is not spread at all. I don't think this is going to work. He's mocking me. I'm trying. So it's dark again. While we wait for the sun to come up, let's create a little mushroom farm. You follow me. Okay, make a baby. I like keeping that mushroom in it as well. That looks nice. Can we get some seeds from this? Yes. Okay, at least we can start a wheat farm with this. Whoa. I'm just digging out the area for the wheat farm. And there is a big old ravine here. That was lucky. Just picking the absolute best spot to create the farm. Okay, it's so just going to create the base here. And now we just fill it up with dirt. Okay, we've got an infinite water source in the middle. Well, that'll do for now. We can expand it in the future. But I think right now, our one little piece of wheat should grow. Well, it's dark again. Let's go and hang out at the end and see if we can encourage the grass to start working its way up here. Oh, it's a creeper. I'm just going to run and hit it. Get off my land. Get off. I think it's spreading just very slowly. It is slowly spreading, but... Minecraft 2 will be out before this gets all the way to the base. We need another option. We'll figure that out in a second. Let's get the final sheep first. Okay, we have a white sheep. You get in there. Here we go. Come on, dude. No. No. You stupid doggo. Stay away from my sheep. No. I'm sorry, dog. I don't like to do that, but I need these sheep. Come with me quick before it gets dark again. All right, you wait there. Let's get the other one. Okay, we've done it. We've got our two white sheep and we've got some red dye. Let's get these guys back to base. Let's just go check up on the grass quickly. Still spreading really slowly. I think we've got to go and look for an enderman maybe. I don't know. But this farm cannot work without grass. 
There's our three sheep ready for our wool farm. Right, so here's the plan. When it's dark, I'm going to fish and see if we can get a silk touch book. And then when it becomes daytime, I'm going to go over to the land and see if I can find an enderman with a grass block. We need to get grass here. I want to create the wool farm. That's what this episode's all about. So we need grass. That is it. Right, let's start fishing. You know what? I'm enjoying playing some proper Minecraft for once. It's really refreshing and it's really relaxing. It's funny because when I start recording, I have a really good idea of what I want to achieve for the episode, but neither episode so far has worked out the way I expected. I think I'm going to achieve about 10% of what I wanted to achieve in this episode, but that's okay. That's Minecraft and it's fun to play it. Okay, the sun is up. Let's go and see if we can find an Enderman. It is so annoying to be surrounded by grass and not be able to get it. I feel like this is going to take longer than fishing a silk touch book. Just aimlessly wandering around. This has got to be a one in a million shot. Okay, no luck. It's raining. We need to go back to the base. Bro, grow. So here's what I'm going to do. I've created myself a little fishing shack next to the grass so that I can fish here 24-7. See if I get a silk touch book and also let the grass grow. I think this is the only way. Right, so since I started fishing, I, I got a few bits. I got a mending fishing rod, which was amazing. I did get one book, so a prop free book. I got really excited for a second, but obviously not the one we want. But the grass has spread all the way to the staircase. So now we just need to wait and watch to see if it will go up one. Oh, it did it. Oh my God. Whoa. I've been AFK for a while now. It's going uphill. That is amazing. So I know that for sure this isn't the best way for me to get grass. But my smooth noob ADHD ridden brain just cannot think of several different projects at once. So getting enchantments is something that we will do in the future. The other good thing is for the next couple of days, I can't play or record, but I can AFK. So I'm going to AFK the grass all the way back to the base. And then in three days, I can do some more recording. It's here. It actually made it. It took a little bit longer than three days, but it is actually here. I'm so happy. So now we can create the wool farm and I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to create a big area. We'll grow some more grass. It's time. Let's go. So here we are. This is where the wool farm is going to go. And look, the grass has already started. I was able to cut it off. I'm going to keep this there for now, just in case. I put wood along the edges just to make sure that no mycelium touches it and starts to spread here. But I think we're good. Now just a bit more AFK. Let all this fill up and we can actually build the farm. Let's go. The sun comes up and the grass is all grown. This is amazing. Now let's try and build this automatic wool farm. Wait, how do I get the observer to face the right way? Oh no. No, I need the arrow on top. Ah, I did it. Because this is a, a floating platform, we're going to have to fill in the bottom as we go along. This is going to be annoying. I mean, who invented this stuff? How did they even come up with redstone and all of these components? It really is like an engineering masterpiece Minecraft when you think about it. Right, it didn't go down far enough. Let's try again. So I'm supposed to fill this with shears. I've only got one. I think that means we're going to need an iron farm, right? Another thing to add to the list of new things we're going to build here. This is going to be really, really fun. So apparently all I need to do now is put the sheep in there, close it up, and it's done. Follow me. Just checking he can't die there. After all that, imagine if there was a ravine there and he fell down and became a pair of gloves. Come on, you can do it. I need you in here. In here. Get in. Yeah, you can't get out. Stop trying. So is that it now? How does it work? No way. That is amazing. Let's build it for the other two guys. Let's go. Come here. Get in your hole. Right, time to get the last one. Come on, dude. Yeah, there we go. And it works. Look, there's already three in there. There's already six in there. Was it worth the effort? 
Well, as we stare out to this, was it really worth the effort? I, I don't know if it was, but we've done it. This is my first automatic wall farm in Minecraft. It's nothing epic, nothing crazy. It doesn't look very good. A future project will be to make this look a lot nicer. But it just means now, as we finally start detailing the place, this can be working and gathering wool for us. Trying to be a little bit efficient. Oh, that's amazing. What a relief. Time for a beer, I think. Okay, house, after a quick rest, I've decided I can't do any more today. I know we said we'd make you look pretty. I'm really sorry. I promise we would do it next episode. Please don't hate me. Guys, thank you so much for watching. That was very fun to make, although it was also very difficult. And if you watched it to the end, I really appreciate it. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment so I know you want me to continue this series. But until next time, see you soon and take it easy.